Hi, I'm Susan Rutledge, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you one of Adobe Illustrator's newer features, and that's the font height feature. This feature was added way back in August of 2020, and I have noticed this extra line in the properties panel, but I basically ignored it until a couple of days ago when I began to get curious and I started exploring each of these features. Now I want to teach them to you in the best way I know how, and that's to show you. Basically, we're going to be talking about how your fonts are measured. Illustrator measures their fonts in terms of points and 72 points is equal to one inch which is the setting I have here in the properties panel for the font I'm using. I can change that by going up or down here on the left side or click here and I can choose any of these sizes as well. I'm going to go ahead and leave this at 72 points. Now if I can't remember 72 points or I wanted something like a third of an inch and I didn't want to have to try to calculate how many points I can just highlight this and type in one forward slash three and then the inch sign and press enter and Illustrator does the math for me and converts the measurement to points so if you're working on a document and you can't remember how many points are in an inch then all you need to do is come in and type in one inch and press enter and Illustrator sets the font at the right size for you. I'm going to change this to Arial and we'll see just how big a 72 point font is with an inbox setting. My type tools active, keyboard shortcut T. I'm going to click on the artboard to set up some text. You can see in the properties panel that I have the M box selected and my font size is 72 points. I'll get the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V, and I'll move my text up into this first one inch area. Now what we notice right away is that the text is not a full one inch high. And that was initially surprising to me. But what I've learned is that when a font is created, it's measured from the top of the highest capital letter to the lowest part of the lowercase letter. And the space between those two points is actually what the size of the font is. So your inbox will be 72 points if the spread is 72 points. If the spread between the highest capital letter and the lowest lowercase letter is 14 points, then your M on your inbox is going to be 14 points. So this isn't a new way of measuring fonts. It's been measured this way all along. We just haven't seen this M box terminology. And the reason we're seeing it now is because Illustrator is giving us an opportunity to measure fonts in a couple of different ways if we want to. For example, if you need all of your capital letters in a heading to be exactly one inch tall, you can easily achieve that now. I'll get the type tool, keyboard shortcut T, and come to the properties panel, and I'm going to change this setting from M box to cap height. And this little icon has changed here to show me that I have the cap height measurement. We'll leave this at 72 points and click on the artboard. I'll get the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V, and this won't fit in my little space here. So I'm going to have to delete this part here. I'll get the selection tool again, keyboard shortcut V, move it up here. And with this setting, all of my capital letters should be exactly one inch or 72 points high. We don't concern ourselves with the lowercase letters like this P, which will extend down below that one inch line. I do have one more setting that you might be interested in. I'll come over to the properties panel, twirl down here, and I'm going to choose X height. For this setting, we measure the height of the lowercase letters. So I'll click on the artboard again and get the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V, and I'm going to get rid of the capital letter here, and I'm going to get rid of these letters on the side here and then get the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V, and move these letters up. Now this font is actually a little over the guidelines at the top and the bottom. And then obviously if I add a capital letter or a lowercase letter that extends below the baseline, then we're really extended beyond the one inch line. But as a general rule, the X height is measuring the height of that lowercase letter. 
The final setting is the ICF box. You use this setting if you're working with Chinese, Japanese, or Korean characters. For me, I'm probably going to be using Mbox the most because that's the standard setting we've been used to using and it also matches up with the font sizes of other software. However, I may have occasion now and then to use the cap height or the X height. Now there's actually a lot more to be learned about using fonts in Illustrator and so in my next video I'm going to be explaining the character panel and how all of the different functions work there. Be sure and subscribe to my channel right now and click the notification bell so that you don't miss that tutorial or any of my future videos and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.